Hi, I'm Peter Murray. In this short video, I'd like to introduce you to the Mark Bass Chorus Flanger pedal. The Chorus Flanger is a state-of-the-art digital effect pedal that gives you access to a wide variety of chorus and flanging effects. Not only does it have top quality, state-of-the-art DSP circuitry, it also comes with software that allows you to program your own presets exactly how you want them and load them back onto the pedal. It's very exciting. Let's check it out. Let's have a look at the controls on the Chorus Flanger. Gain controls the level of input into the pedal from minus 10 to plus 16 dB. The clip light helps you set the right gain level into the pedal, and if it's illuminating often, you should turn down your gain. Speed controls the rate of the sweep of the chorus or flanger, from 0.1 Hz to 3 Hz. Width controls the width of the modulation, or how extreme the effect is. Mix controls the balance between dry and affected signals. The digital display identifies what effect is active, and also shows how much you're changing the controls on the pedal. The preset switch allows you to scroll through the presets in the pedal. This switch turns the pedal on and off, and when the pedal's controls are off, your signal goes directly from the input jack to the output jack without any degradation of audio quality. The chorus flanger switch toggles between chorus and flanger modes. The USB jack on the rear panel accepts a standard USB cable and allows you to connect the pedal to your computer so you can create your own presets using the supplied MarkBase software. Then you store your favorite settings back onto the pedal to have them at your disposal whenever you need them. But more on the software later. So now we know what all the controls do on the pedal, it's time to hear how they sound. So here we are, all plugged in and ready to check out the MarkBase Chorus Flanger pedal. I have it plugged into the wall using the supplied 12-volt adapter. And for the purposes of this test, I'll be using a Music Man 5-string bongo and a Mark Bass Mini CMD-121P combo into a New York 121 extension cabinet. So this is a, a 212 500-watt rig. Let's get some sounds. When the pedal is plugged in, you can see which preset is active on the screen. And you click on the preset button to change the preset. It comes with three choruses preloaded and three flangers. Any of those presets can be adjusted using the speed, width, and mix controls. Here's the first preset. First of all, we have to turn it on. percentage of affected signal. We can also of course change the speed. And we can change the width. sound. Let's check out some of the flanger presets. That gives you a very quick overview of the kinds of sounds we can get from the chorus flanger. 
Now that we've had a look at the pedal itself and learned what you can control using the knobs on the pedal, it's time to have a look at the software because this is really what makes this pedal exciting. Creating and editing presets on your chorus flanger pedal using the supplied software is a piece of cake. All you need is your bass, your amplifier, the pedal, and any PC or Mac computer, as well as the standard USB cable. The output is connected to the amplifier, the input is connected to your bass, and the USB output is connected to the USB input on your computer. All you have to do is open up the program, and in the lower left corner you'll see a connect button. Click on connect, it says connecting, pedal connected. Now we're ready to edit some presets. The editing screen for the chorus flanger is very simple. You have the parameters on the left hand side, speed and width like on the pedal, a toggle of the mode from chorus to flanger, you have low cut and high cut filter, you have triangle or sine waveform, uh, mono or stereo mode, um, depending on whether you're running stereo or not. You have chorus color and feedback, and feedback color on or off. And you have on the right hand side a graphic equalizer that allows you to control obviously the EQ of the chorus or flanger sound. So we can all these various parameters. We play a little bit, we adjust a little bit, we play with a different uh, different parameters and hear how the changes sound. Oh, this is off, feedback, color. And then when we find sounds that we like, we can save them. We could go to save, click on save. Uh, we can either make changes to an existing file, in this, in this case uh, test1 is the file I have on the left here, or we can save it as a new sound. So we could say flange1, save. And then we have it here in our list of preset files, and any time we like, we can, we can load back this preset, and we can store it to the pedal, choosing which preset we want it to be, click on store, and we've stored it to the pedal. Then if we unplug the pedal, we have that sound in the pedal. It's that simple. Thanks for checking out this video. If you have any questions at all about this pedal or about any MarkBase products, please write to us at info at markbase.it. Ciao for now.